Hey there, everyone. Good afternoon. This is Dr. Gwen, and I am here with you again to talk with you about our empowering reflections. Now, I know that it seems to me when I did the daily live cast that there was a bit more of a continuity than doing it once per week. But what once a week allows us to do is to reflect on whatever we have talked about during the previous week and to hopefully put some of that in practice. What I'm hoping here today is that some of you will begin to join me on a much regular basis and we can get a process going to help you to achieve whatever it is that you are wanting to achieve. So now today our topic is about let's take inventory, progress inventory. It's like a progress report. And no, we're not in school. And no, the goal is not to try to make anyone feel bad about what they have achieved. But let's be real here today. It is February and my calendar said, says it's February 13th, which means that we are actually literally in the second week of February. Yet it was just a few short weeks ago that we welcomed 2017. And during that time, you, as well as many other people, may have said, okay, this is what I want to do for 2017. I'm going to work on my health. I'm going to achieve more money. I'm going to give to the needy, I'm going to volunteer more, whatever it is that you decided that it is what you wanted to do is what you said. And so now let's take inventory. It's about six weeks, maybe seven, into the year. And what have you done? Have you accomplished so far what you feel like you set out to do? Do you even know whether or not you are making the progress that you need to do? See, my chat with you today is not just about New Year's resolution. It is about how you tackle the things in your life. The whole process is people feel as though they are procrastinating on a daily regular basis that they're not meeting their goals that they're not meeting their commitments and therefore they get frustrated and feel a, a great lack of fulfillment around the things that are in their life so I want you to join me in 2017 to really have the best year ever there is no reason why we can't and I want you to know that, yes, it is partially the fulfillment of your goals, but having the best year ever is also a way of being. It is a way of being that is who you show up as and who you choose to be or to reflect yourself as despite what is going on in your circumstances. That is my friend, is the main source of being and having your best year ever. But that conversation I will leave for another time. What I really want to reflect on with you today is simply the inventory, the progress that you have been making with the goals that you have set out to achieve. So now let's, let's put some things Put on some meat on the bone, so to speak, right? <laughs> what have you been putting off from time to time? Maybe you said it in January that you're going to achieve it, and you haven't. Maybe you said it two years ago, two months ago, 20 years ago. And there is something that you feel that you need to achieve in your life that will just allow you to be the fullest, best version of yourself, right? And what is that goal for you? What is it? 
Is it something that you are making progress with? Now, I know I've talked to a lot of people as I consult with clients and coach with individuals. There are certain words that I hear people saying over and over. Such things as, well, the time is not right. Or other conversations that they tell themselves, such as, you know, you've got to have some fun. You can't just really be pushing and pushing and pushing. All right, I can agree with that. But you know what I really truly believe? That the latter conversation, that latter one, the last one that I just said, is a way for people to get out of their commitments, out of whatever they're going to do. They have told themselves that if they're pushing to achieve a goal, they cannot have fun. And that the two are not mutually exclusive. You can push to achieve your goal, and you can have fun. So get off of that story. <laughs> get off of it, leave it behind, like right now. But what about that first one about making time? Now, I know life happens, and I know things show up in our lives from day to day. But if you have been telling yourself for maybe weeks now or months, months or years or decades when the time is right I will do it then you are cheating yourself and robbing yourself of that wonderful glorious feeling of fulfillment and satisfaction and that my friends is what makes the difference between those of us who are really happy and those who are grumpy those of us who wake up welcoming the morning welcoming the rain and the snow and the sunshine, whatever the conditions are that are outside. And those of us who find those things to be annoying and lackluster and robbing them of whatever it is that they think they're after. So wouldn't you like to wake up every single morning and feel as though that you are looking forward to just taking on that day and making the best of it. Now, I do understand that some of you have jobs that you probably are not too infused about. And even in the face of that, though, remember what I said about the way of being? That you can show up to choose to be somebody in the midst of that job. What is going to help you to do that in a more marked way is the things you love to do that you are actually doing. So those goals, those big goals that you've been putting off and telling yourself, oh, the time is just not right, those are probably the things that are going to make you feel fulfilled and happy and even survive that job or whatever that tough circumstance is in your life that you may be enduring right now. So it's not a matter of rushing to get to it or giving up fun to get to it. It's a matter of you feeling fulfilled and satisfied and happy with your life. So now let's just get down to some things. What have stopped you? You probably have said, as I mentioned before, when the time is right, if you're saying that, then let me tell you something. I hate to break this news to you, but the reality is the time will never, ever be right. It won't be. Something in life is always going to show up. Something will. And you have got to set that focus for yourself, for your happiness, for your fulfillment, for your joy, so that you can step out to achieve that thing that you know, you know deep in your gut will bring you satisfaction and fulfillment. So what is it for you? Think for a moment. What is that thing that you've been putting off that will bring you deep in your gut? You just 
feel it and you know that it's going to bring you fulfillment and satisfaction. What is it? Now you've got to lay some plans to do it. And you've got to not just lay the plans, you've got to get into action. You cannot wake up every single day feeling lackluster, feeling as though you're losing on life. When you know there is a little nugget inside of you that is telling you something you need to do. So what may be the other reason why you haven't achieved it? Maybe fear. Some people are afraid of success. They're afraid of things getting so big that it blows out of proportion and they can't handle it. But you know what the reality is about fear? That it is an imposter. It is not real. Fear presents all the things that you think will happen based upon your limited mindset and your own limitations. Fear presents that. And you taking that on will allow yourself to be stopped. So you've got to understand that it's natural for fear to show up. It is a natural thing. And you're never going to Get rid of it when you step out to do something bigger than you are doing right now. That is just the reality. We all experience it. And yes, you, it may take you a moment to absorb it, but acknowledge it. Don't fight it. Don't try to say, oh, poor me, or why am I feeling this way? Uh-uh, just acknowledge that it's there. Yes, I recognize you're there, and this is because... Something big and great and enormous is about to happen. So once you acknowledge that fear, then step out, my friends, and start in action. Now what if the thing gets too big? Deal with it at that point. Something will co come up to allow you to deal with it in that point. This is what we fail to realize. When we're looking down the road, miles down the road, you don't know what is down there to support you. Right from this point, you can't see around the corner. You don't know. It's there. But if you never take this step to get there, then you never experience it. So, it may not get too big. It might get too big. And what if it does? Step out. So don't allow that fear to stop you. Now, what I want to encourage you to do at this point is to begin to just take a, a step back and reflect on what that thing is that you feel like you need to have. Right? What is it? And then... Maybe it's a bunch of things that you're trying to sort through. And if it is, start by writing a list. Make a list of what these things are that you feel deep in your gut will bring you that satisfaction. Let me tell you, we all have it. What is it? Now, a little bit of guidance along this way as well. That Thing would probably more than likely be something that makes you happy, but it also makes someone else happy. Okay? So it is a bigger thing than you. It's something you want to achieve because it has a goal that will help you to fulfill on your personal fulfillment, and it has a goal to bring some good to other people as well. Those are the kinds of goals that are really much more fulfilling, much more satisfying because you, you're you valued, you feel valued because you're making a difference for someone else. It could be starting your business and your business may be providing services or products that are helping the life for someone else. It could be volunteering to take on a leadership role in an organization. It could be volunteering to take on a service role in an organization. 
It could be you're taking on some major event in your family that will transform the structure and probably the mayhem in your family life. It could be something that is wonderful that could be elevating your family to the next plane of success and happiness. Whatever that thing is for you, write it down, make a list. So I'm giving you a couple strategies here, probably four things that's going to help you right now to move from where you are right now. So next week when I get back on this live cast, you're not the same place you are, okay? So number one, as I said, make all that list of items, all of it. Just dump it all on paper. Stop carrying it around in your head. That's half, more than probably three quarters of the reason why it doesn't get done. So write it down. Write them down. There may be a lot. Now, if you have a lot, you're going to have to probably single out one to start with. And this is where it matters most for you. This is where the rubber meets the road in terms of how you're going to feel about your life. Because the things you take on in your life are the things that impact your feelings. So you have to know, going through that list, which one of these do you feel connects with the deepest sense of your gut? Which one generates that happiest feeling of fulfillment and satisfaction as you imagine yourself taking on each one respectively? So do that. Pay attention to how you feel as you're imagining yourself. Close your eyes. And imagine yourself carrying out each activity one at a time and noting which one gives you the greatest feelings of joy. So pay attention to that. Next, separate it from the list. So you're going to put that one down. And once you separated that, then the third thing is you're going to write out the clearly exactly what it's going to look like for you when you have achieved it. You cannot work at a goal without knowing what you want. So that clarity is very important. Write down what you want. What is it looking like? When I achieve this goal, if it's a, a monetary goal, how much is it? If it's a relationship goal, what are you doing in that relationship that's now transformed? Visualize and notice what it is like so you can see what it is. There's a benefit for writing out all of this. And the number one benefit is that you can now start to set goals for yourself. The goals for what you want to achieve right? Could be if it's a business opportunity that you want to start. What does this business look like once I have fulfilled it and once I have stepped in it and it is progressing the way I think it, want, it needs to? What is it looking like? What are the energies? What's the happiness? What is the feeling? How much money? What are the joys? How am I celebrating? Just really kind of picture what it looks like. Now I want you to go back and write down the tiny steps that's going to help you to get there. These steps are critical. That's what a lot of people miss. And then they don't achieve the goals and they don't know why. Now, remember at the beginning of this broadcast, I said to you, are you even knowing whether you are making progress on the goal? So then this next thing, when I said write those steps down, this next thing is a number five thing. So now you're going to put those steps into your structure, whatever it is. If you use a planner or you use your phone, you use a calendar or a sheet of paper, 
whatever it is, write it down on the sheet of paper so that you can actually now see the dates when every step is to happen. So you plan this end goal by this date, I will achieve this activity. And now you break down into steps of how you're going to get there. And for each step, put a date on it and put it in your calendar. If it's not in there, you don't even know if you're making progress. That is how you're going to be able to keep track to know whether you're making progress. So maybe for some of you, you want to write a book. The book has 10 chapters. You want to get it done in 10 months. You know you must write a chapter per month. And that chapter may have maybe 20 pages. So in each week, four weeks, you need to have five pages done every week, which means that on average, you have a page done every single day. Write it down. And now, my friends, if you skip that week, you know you're five pages behind and you know you won't be able to achieve that unless you double up the next month or you're not going to meet that goal. See how simple that is? So thank you so much for joining me, friends. I really appreciate it. If you need a free video that explains how to set up your goals and how to put them in structure, I have a free resource that you can reach out to, to me for. And what I will also do is I would love to hear from you. So I'm going to put a schedule on my page so that if you want to reach out and chat for a free discovery session, then you can reach out and we can connect and I will help you to know what you need to do next to achieve whatever it is in your life for you to feel fulfilled and satisfied and happy and to get the results that you want. That results piece is a lot, but the main part is what I just gave you. Write those goals, put them in your calendar. Then understanding the whole process of how you interact with that. So I'm gonna leave a link for you to schedule a free discovery session with me and I look forward to hearing from you. And I thank you so immensely for joining me today. And this is Dr. Gwen, Empowering Lives to Live Purposefully and Passionately.